everyone, it's Laurel here, um, and I'm here today to tell you about um, a project that um, we'll be working on on my Ustream show this Sunday. Um, I was asked to create a card box um, for a friend of mine, Dee Dee's Nana, and um, I've completed it. And then the discussion turned to, well, can we make one? So I wanted to give you a little bit of a preview of what we'll be making and also some of the supplies that you will need. So this is the box. This is an 8x8 um, just hard like chipboard box that you can get from your local craft, craft supply store like Michael's or um, AC Moore. Um, I think this one came from AC Moore. Um, it's just a few dollars. I find the 8x8 size is pretty good. Although, if you want to, you can use um, a shoebox. Uh, that also fits quite, quite nicely. You'll need some coordinating patterns of scrapbook paper. I usually use three different patterns, so this is all coordinated paper. You can see the flowers and the small dots and the large dots. You'll need some embellishments that you want to decorate the top with. Um, I really like doilies and flowers. This bird I had left over from last Christmas. Um, you might have something like that and some ribbon. And then, of course, the bling. And I'm just going to set this down. So you need the box and then your top embellishments. I typically do something just like this. So if you have bling and flowers and a doily, you're good. If you have the bird, even better. And then for the interior, you're going to need um, two different colors of cardstock that you want to work with. I strongly recommend that you do say white and cream or cream and craft. Um, I've done cream and craft in this example. And you're going to need five sheets of each color. And then that's what creates the bases of the cards. You can see the cream there. And then there's also the craft poking through. Um, when we're finished, we'll have a total of 20 card bases. Um, then you're going to need to raid your scrap box. Um, so that is why I say go with the neutral card bases. Um, if all of your scraps are blue and you want to do them blue, that's perfectly fine. Um, my scraps are all over the board, so I find that, you know, craft and cream is usually a pretty good color. Um, You'll need enough scrap or paper so you can cut 20 pieces for your layer that are 4 by 5 and 1 quarter. So you'll need that 20 times. Okay. Um, you'll also need some ribbon. I have seam binding and flowers and um, then just some ribbon to pack it up. You'll need some coordinating imitation envelopes. Um, I have white and cream here. These are imitation envelopes that I got at Staples. Uh, they're not all that expensive. I buy them when they're on sale. Um, we're going to be doing standard A2 size cards, so they fit in there quite nicely. You need a couple of pens, some forever stamps, and then I have this bound together with some nice ribbon. You'll need a plastic baggie. I'm just going to set this down. And then you're going to need to break out your sentiment stamps. Um, whatever sentiment you want to have on the card, um, happy birthday, good luck, joy, wish, wh whatever the case may be. But you also need, um, if you have an oval punch and maybe a layered, you can see, I'm going to put that really close. It's an oval punch and then a layered scallop behind it and some coordinating ink colors. Um, here I've used um, Saison in a timber brown and then stamping up in a um, I think it's called Bahama Baja Breeze and then you'll need some foam tape pop dots so when you're finished you'll have 20 cards inside the box with the envelopes and the stamps and the sentiment and the pens and then it's a matter of decorating your box I find that older folks really like this. Um, I made this for um, 
some Christmas gifts last year, um, and I've really been approached by you know the older older people because it's a one-stop shop. They have their stamps, they have their pens, they have their envelopes. They can make the cards say whatever they want, and then they're all always feel prepared. Um, it's a very simple project. Um, takes took me maybe. I did this during the hurricane, um, and um, I've done multiple boxes in the past um, at the same time. The cards don't take very long. Um, we do one show or we'll do the box, perhaps, and then we'll do the prep for how I do cards. And then you can really embellish it however you want. I would strongly recommend to you that your embellishments, say your flowers, they need to be very flat or as flat as they can be. Um, because remember, it's going to go in an envelope. So, as you're thinking about those things, keep that in mind. Um, I hope you'll join me for this project this Sunday. Um, I, my typical show time on Ustream is 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, this one might take us a little bit longer to do, so you know, I may go on a little bit early, but um, you can catch me on Twitter. For that notification and if you can't join us this Sunday because the holiday um, you can always catch the recording. Um, my name over on Ustream is Laurel from New Jersey. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you will join us and I think it's a really nice useful project. So thanks so much. See you soon. Bye.